Back now to our top story this evening. Again, that's that avalanche over at Silver Mountain. We have reestablished that shot with our Taylor Vido. I understand. So an update from Silver Mountain on that avalanche. Taylor, we understand one person is dead. Five others are injured. Yeah, Mark, that's right. And at this hour, search and rescue efforts are still underway up on the mountain and search and rescue dogs are being used. Now, earlier in the show, we were uh, trying to explain that uh, one of our photographers, Roger, Hat Roger Hatcher, just within the last hour, was speaking with a couple of witnesses who were skiing up on the mountain when that avalanche happened. They were skiing to the area in the aftermath to try to help look for people. They told us that at least two people were okay. They found those people, but they noticed a third person who uh, was blue in the face, as they described it. They were having chest compressions done on them, and then that person was taken away from the scene on a stretcher. But again, as you mentioned, one person is dead, five others with minor injuries. Now, those photos you just uh, saw right there are from Coeur d'Alene, from the Coeur d'Alene Fire Department's K-9 team. They were called to Silver to assist with what they described as a missing person search. That was around 1 p.m., about two hours after the avalanche first happened. Now, again, the sheriff's office says, uh, or excuse me, authorities, five people all recovered, but the one was died. Due to recent snow and winds, various areas of northern Idaho were under an avalanche advisory today. Silver had received over a foot of fresh snow in the last 24 hours and additional snow the day before. Of course, avalanches aren't unheard of in this part of Shoshone County, Idaho. More on that in just a little bit. But just last year, an avalanche closed traffic on Interstate 90 near at nearby Lookout Pass. A skier who was on at Silver Mountain this morning when the avalanche happened told us that he heard ski patrol doing avalanche control earlier in the day. I mean, obviously there was avalanche conditions. They were You could hear dynamite. They were blowing for shooting off dynamite for to blow avalanches, obviously. But... Um, uh, I was on the lift, overheard a ski patrol on the radio talking about people buried in an avalanche. And that avalanche advisory remains in effect uh, for the rest of today as we still speak right now.